Welcome back to Every Disney Movie Ever. My name is Jess and I'm watching Every Disney Movie Ever. Today I'm going to talk about Not Quite Human. Not Quite Human is a 1987 magical Walt Disney television release. It is directed by Stephen Hilliard Stern, cinematography by Ken Lampkin, editing by Ron Weissman, music by Tom Scott, and it's written by Alan Ornsby. Stephen Hilliard Stern I covered in the video about the devil and Max Devlin. The link will be in the description. Ken Lampkin is best known for Frasier, This is the Life, and Shadow Force. Ron Weissman I covered in the video about the undergrads, and Tom Scott I covered in the video about the leftovers. Both links will be in the description. Alan Ornsby is best known for Mulan, Dead of Night, My Bodyguard, and Deranged Confessions of a Necrophile. The film is based off a book series called Not Quite Human. There are six of them. They are by Seth McAvoy, but I couldn't find individual plots of each of them. From what I can understand, it is a very similar concept. It was released over a two-year period, 1985 to 1986, and the only major difference I could read about was in the books he's 13 years old and in the movie he's 17 years old, but otherwise I couldn't find individual plots so I cannot compare them. The film stars Jay Underwood, Alan Thicke, and Robin Lively. Jay Underwood plays Chip Carson and is best known for The Boy Who Could Fly, Uncle Buck, and The Beat Goes On, The Sunny and Cher Story, and this. Alan Thicke plays Dr. Carson and he's best known for Growing Pains, Raising Helen, and That's My Boy. Robin Lively plays Becky Carson and I covered her in the video about Fuzz Bucket. The link will be in the description. First I want to start off by saying there is a parent death. Mrs. Carson has passed away. It is set on screen, not seen on screen. And Dr. Carson and Becky Carson are left, and Dr. Carson builds an android to be his son almost. It's like a breakthrough in science, but then the android kind of becomes his son. It's very Pinocchio-esque in the fact that um, Chip keeps saying, am I a real human yet? Am I a real boy yet? So I love that little like Pinocchio inspo moment. The first half of this film is so slow, like not so slow, but it's slow and it's static. No moving shots at all because there's so much dialogue and they're on each person for so long while they're speaking. So the first half of this film is very like shot of the person speaking shot of the person speaking and it's very dialogue heavy in the first half so there's just a lot of talking going on so i wasn't madly in love with the first half of this film but the second half really picks up i loved when chip had to save his family i got teary when he smiled for the first time at the very end that was very cute and i was like mm, my little heart but uh the first half was really slow i enjoyed like seeing him be awkward at school and stuff because he's learning but it was still really slow in the beginning, but I really enjoyed the second half, so I have come away from this film really liking it. That's all I have for Not Quite Human. I enjoyed this movie. I look back on it fondly. I loved Jay Underwood's interpretation of an android boy at 17. Chip was really fun. Becky was very adorable. I had a good time watching this movie. I don't think it was spectacular, but I did have a fun time, so I think I'm gonna give it like six robots out of ten. Our total movie count is. Our parent death toll is. My count is still the same. If you want to keep up with what movie I'm watching when, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. You'll find out what movie I'm watching when. I put out videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Until next time, comment, like, subscribe, but I'm not sure if you are, so you do. And don't be the guy who was trying to steal Chip about it. He was like the head of the toy company that made war toys. I don't I got a monitor. It's right there. You can't see it because you're there, but it's right there and I can see myself. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs>